at the end of the day, the discipline is is a major thing. And that's for me, you know, for a lot of people, I think that's what it comes down to is, you know, what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. It's just figuring out how to justify why you are or not doing that, you know? It's a discipline, expectation, and boundaries. And I believe if we could get those back in our society regularly, we'd have a lot more one percenters. All of those things all start with the way that we think. And so I've got a tool, I call it RAC, R-A-Q, repeat, assign a feeling or an emotion, and then ask a question. You can use this at sales talk when you're negotiating deals. You can use this in purchasing things when you're talking to a salesperson. You can use this if you wanted your husband to do the dishes and your wife to do the laundry and the kids to pick up their toys. Repeat, assign a feeling or emotion, and then ask a question. But just imagine if you did this for yourself. You had a bad thought, repeat it back out loud, assign a feeling or an emotion, and then ask yourself a question. So everybody looks at the 1% differently. Well, if the 1% is any different than you, why do they still put their shoes on the same way you and I both do, right? If the 1% is any different, why do they also have hair just like you and I? They bleed red, they use and spend the same money, they drive the same kind of cars, maybe their house is a little nicer, but they still put gas in the same car, they still pay their electric bill or someone does it for them just like you. And if that's the case, the why not you should really resonate. Because at the end of the day, the only thing that stops you from being part of the 99 to the 1% is 1%. So why don't you work on getting 1% better every single day? 